What's going on? It's DJ Cream here, and in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Presonus Studio One. We're going to start on the bottom, and like every other DAW, you have your transport controls. So here you can see your time, your bars, your play stop menu, your loop activation. You also have your metronome, and your also your project tempo, master volume. And then to the right, you have three tabs that you can open and close windows. This is the edit tab. Depending on what you have selected in your project, it'll either come up as a wave editor or also the piano roll MIDI editor. You also have the mix window, which gives you your mixing console and the browser, which you can open and close. And inside the browser, you also have various tabs, one for your instruments, one for your plugins, another one for the sounds that come with Presonus Studio One. If you have the professional version, you get over 16 gigs worth of sound libraries and virtual instruments. Also your files tab where you can see all your documents, sort of your explorer. And also the pool, which will give you all the tracks that you have in your project. You could also sort everything by different uh, options, flat, by folders, by vendor, or by category, and you can also search right in the browser. On the top here, you have your option to go back to the start window. You have your song. If you have various songs here, you'll have a drop down menu with whatever songs you have open. And also, at any time, you can upgrade. So if you're using the free version, you can upgrade right from here. On the top, you have all your quantize and snap options. So you have all the resolutions here and the snap to grid on and off. And you also have your tools. Now the tools can also be selected by the number. So starting from the left, you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you see option number five, the pencil, you have a drop down menu. If you hold five and you keep clicking, you can scroll across the different options that you have within that tab. So that's pretty handy. On the left hand side, you have your inspector view, which gives you all your channel options. So if we just go in here and I'm just going to drag a loop. So now if I have the inspector open, I have all my channel controls, my channel view, the volume, the inserts for the effects, my sends, and all the options. If it's a WAV file or something that is not MIDI in this case, let's just throw a loop in here. Or just a sound. So now if it's a WAV uh, sound, you actually have your event effects, the file tempo where you can actually set the tempo of whatever you have on this track and also the gain, the tune, the fade in and out and the event effects, which you can use right here if you just want to put a delay right on this clip. So everything is here from the inspector view. You can also add a track here. You can toggle on and off the automation also by hitting the letter A. This is your tempo, so if you want to do a transition, let's say from 90 up to 140 or 29 or wherever it is, you can do it right from here. And also your markers, so you can do the start and end markers for when you bounce your track or your, your you know, whole project. So that's a basic overview of Presonus Studio One. If you want to get more information, you can log on to InTheMixDJSchool.com. Thank you.